Billy Rabbit here with another tale from the Enchanted Forest. Um, this time, uh, you're not going to believe this, but uh, at the other castle on the other side of the forest, there is a wicked stepmother. Yeah, there's a lot of those around, but this one, she's like um, kind of a queen type person. And she has a daughter named Snow White. Yeah, that's her name. I mean, that's her real name. It's on her driver's license and everything. Snow White. Okay, so uh, the evil queen, like, she's into magic and stuff. And she's got herself a magic mirror there. And she likes to think she's, like, totally good looking. So every day it's mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? And one day she gets back... Uh, Oh, Queen, you may think you're pretty fair, but you know, the dwarves are fairer than you. And she's like, Oh, that's Snow White out. Wait a minute. Did you say dwarves? And the mirror's like, Yeah. And that's it. I'm a magic mirror, and that's definitely a reflection on you. And she's like, You yeah, got me there. It's a reflection. <laughs> Okay, so, um, my dwarves are fairer than me, and I gotta do something about it. I have to bump off those dwarves. Uh, which, which dwarves uh, are we talking about here? And the mirror's like, hey, look, I'm not a magic mirror. I'm not Google Maps, okay? And she says, she's gotta figure it out. So she calls her huntsman, who's like a psycho. He's got like a hockey mask and a chainsaw. And like, <laughs> And she's like, okay, Huntsman, um, there's these dwarves, see, and uh, the mirror says they're fairer than me over there, that mirror. So, um, uh, we gotta, uh, like, uh, you gotta bump them off. Go get them and uh, chop them to pieces to use the chainsaw there and the whole thing would be really fun for you. Yeah, and uh, there you go. And so the Huntsman heads off into the forest and... Uh, Dwarves are pretty easy to find because they're pretty famous, you know. There's seven of them, maybe eight. Depends on the day, you know. Like, they replaced their drummer twice already. And got a new bass player. He's really good. You know? And I call, they call him Basie. And anyway, he had a famous uh, relative who was royalty. He was a count. <laughs> anyway. anyway, so... Right? Um, yeah, he gets there, and the dwarves are like, Hey, wait a minute. There's a bunch of us and one of you. And he's like, Uh-oh. And they, like, have him trussed up. And his chainsaw taken away in the twinkling of an eye. But then they realize that uh, the queen is probably going to send another huntsman after him pretty soon. So they do the only logical thing. They go to the castle. And they find Snow White. And so they're, uh, they're like, hey, Snow White. Um, yeah, it's like this. Your wicked stepmom is trying to kill us, and we need a place to hide. And uh, through fairy tale logic, we assumed that she would never look in the castle, right? She'd be out looking for us everywhere but the castle, because, I mean, who would go to the castle where someone like a queen is trying to kill them, right? And Snow White's uh, like, okay, so how exactly does this involve me? And they're like, well, you got to hide us. And she's like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a big, uh, big task there. And they're like, we'll do anything. And she's like, anything? And they're like, oh, yeah, you probably should have said that. And the next thing you know, they've all got like brooms and dustpans and mops and stuff and she's got them cleaning the whole castle and the place is like looking really good and she's like wait a minute hey you guys and she gathers them around she goes like it just occurred to me that like the queen is pretty good looking you know she's evil and wicked and everything but they, they still got the good looking um how is it that you're fairer than her and she's like yeah, it's crazy talk. And they're like, no, no, the mirror's absolutely right, you know. Um, 
we're way fairer than she is. Like, look at us. We're buff. We work out all the time. We got our own dwarves calendar, you know. And we were in a boy band for a long time, you know. We're like, we're totally hot stuff. Like, we're just, we, we're way better than you. We, you know. She's kind of getting on and everything. Really wants to do it. Yeah. So, like, she can't argue with logic like that. But the queen's going to come in pretty soon. So they're thinking, yeah, we, we better do something. So what they do, and you're going to love this, is they all disguise themselves as the queen. Right? And then the queen comes in, and she's like, oh, hello, queen. Hello, the queen. Hello, the queen. Uh, Snow White. There's something very odd about the castle these days. And Snow White's like, I have no idea. And she's like, you know, um, I haven't heard from the huntsman in a while. And uh, I'm thinking maybe he didn't do so good on those dwarves. But I know they like apples, so I'm going to get him a poisoned apple. And Snow White's like, you know, that that's pretty gruesome. And she's like, no, no. It'll be like a thing where they sleep for 100 years or something like that. And it'd probably do him good anyway, you know. And uh, he's like, I don't know about this. And the dwarves are all standing around, right? Because she's like, she's like uh, completely ignoring them. Doesn't know what to do there. And every time she walks by one, they do the same thing she does. So she thinks they're all mirrors, right? And this confuses her even more. And once she's got the poison apple together, right, she leaves the room. And the dwarves all get together and they chop the apple up and make it into a small pie and set it out for her as a trap. And then when she comes back in, they're all disguised as her, right? Which is still working for some bizarre reason, you know, in fairy tales. And she says, hey, gee whiz, I don't remember this pie being here. And one of them gets on one side of it and says, Oh, don't eat that pie. The other one gets on the other side of it and says, No, you're wicked. Eat the pie. Eat the pie. And then she's like, I don't know what to do. Good side and evil side. And over there must be a kind of neutral side. And over there is kind of chaotic good side. And it's confusing for me. Very confusing. And so, like, okay, just eat the pie. And so she eats the pie and falls asleep. And, uh... When she wakes up, it's like a hundred years later, and the dwarves are long gone you know, by this time, you know, and her castle's gone completely condo and everything. It's really weird, but she is in fact the fairest one of all, and uh, that's how um, everything worked out for her. So that's my story. I hope you enjoy it. Um, hey, you know, if you like just a bizarre fairy tales like this from the Enchanted Forest, uh, go ahead and hit like over there, yeah, and uh, then subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and you'll get lots more of this great stuff. So, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the story. Bye!